Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Mokta Uld Dada Mokta Uld Dada was born on the 25th of December 1924 into a religious marabout family of the Ulid Biri in the southeast of Mauritania. He had his basic studies at the French and traditional Islamic school. He also went on to gain further learning from the elite Islamic academics in France, where he completed his secondary school education. Dada reserves the record as the first Mauritanian university graduate obtaining a bachelor's degree in law in Paris, France. He was also the first Mauritanian to receive a call to bar in Dakar, Senegal in 1955. Prior to his call to bar, he worked with the French colonial administrators as a translator. Meanwhile, during his study years as a law student in France, he was entangled with a lady, Marie Theresi Gadroy, whom he finally settled in with in March 1959. On his return to Mauritania in 1956, his first political call was to join the central leftist group Mauritanian Progressive Union, a platform he leveraged on to become a territorial councillor in 1957 and was elected as the president of the party's executive council in 1958. He was famous for his tireless campaign for a yes vote referendum held by Charles de Gaulle to keep the former French African colonies in the French African community, a framework for independence that maintained French influence. As you don't tell a blind man it is raining, so also Dada was getting prepared for the coming independence of Mauritania. In 1959, he made official his new political party, Mauritanian Regroupment Party, which shockingly won every seat at the National Assembly during the last pre-independence legislative election held towards the end of the year. He was unanimously elected the new Prime Minister of Mauritania. Mauritania officially gained her independence on the 28th of November 1960. However, Dada first became acting president in 1960 before he was finally elected as the first president of the Independent Islamic Republic of Mauritania in August 1961. He was quick to form a government of national unity, finding a place for peace among the three major ethnic groups on land boundaries and settlements and as well as grazing routes for the nomads. On the political scene, sometime in December 1961, Dada merged four major political parties in the country to form Mauritanian People's Party PPM, which became the one and only legal party recognized by the constitution. So he formalized the one-party system of government in 1964 with a new constitution to set up an authoritarian presidential regime. Dada, however, arguably justified his decision with facts, saying Mauritania was not ready for Western multi-party system of government. On the long run, the one-party system provided Dada a definite rule as he was re-elected in uncontested elections held in 1966, 1971, and 1976. Meanwhile, in 1971, he became the president of Organization of African Unity OAU, which is now African Union AU. During his authoritarian rule, the economy of Mauritania remained highly dependent on Chinese and French foreign aids. As the economy was not strong enough to accommodate a good standard of living for the average citizens, so also there was economic drought at that time. Hence, his policies to maintain the country began to receive huge criticisms. In 1975, Dada presented a charter calling for Mauritania to become an Islamic, nationalist, centralist and social democratic state, a move welcomed by all, including the government opposition. Mokta Uld Dada, 
whose political background could be traced to the aristocratic school of thought, fought against a 10-year domination of Algeria and Morocco on the territory of Mauritania, even after independence, through an intense lobby within the defunct Organization of African Unity, now African Union, of which he was a founding member. OAU helped him secure recognition of Mauritania sovereignty from Rabat in 1969. Also, Mauritania managed to secure a quarter of Western Sahara, which was a former Spanish colony previously claimed by Morocco in a deal known as the Madrid Agreement in November 1975. Mokhtar Uldada merged the southern portion of the newly gained territory, renaming it Tiris al Gabiya. But hey, since life has its twists and turns, Dada's bargain soon backfired as his poorly trained and ill-equipped army couldn't resist the attacks led by Western Saharan Polisario Front fighters who were strongly backed and equipped by the furious Algerian government. Then in 1976, his public support began to experience heavy backlash as the small capital Nouakchott was at the verge of being captured. He hurriedly appointed a military officer as head of defense to curb the attack. On the 10th of October 1978, Mokhtar Uddada was removed from government in a bloodless coup led by Lieutenant Colonel Mustafa Ud Salik, who set up a military junta to govern the affairs of the country. Dada was imprisoned without trial in a remote old fort by the leaders of the Military Committee for National Recovery, later the National Salvation Committee, for close to a year before he was allowed to travel to France for treatment after interventions by former President of France, Giscard d'Estaing, the kings of Morocco, Saudi Arabia, Jordan and some African leaders who sheltered him and his family since he was no longer financially buoyant. He retreated to his house in Paris, where he spent 22 years in exile. Sadly, even while in exile, the Mauritanian government still sentenced Mokhtar Dada to hard labor for life, for treason, violation of the constitution, and undermining national economic interests. Finally, in July 2001, he was granted amnesty to return back to Mauritania, but unfortunately, he couldn't survive his unspecified lung illness that took life out of him at a military hospital in Paris, France, on the 14th of October, 2003. However, his lifeless body was flown back and buried in Mauritania, the land he had fought for its independence and sovereignty, at the age of 78. What have we missed out of this biography of Dada? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.